everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lisa, if you're new around here. Today's video is a really big one. It's one I've been waiting for for so long and it is our fireplace transformation. Now I've been filming over the last week or so and today I wanted to share with you all of the footage from start to finish of this fireplace transformation. I wanted to also show you as well how it looked at the very, very beginning. So when we moved in, what it looked like. So it was a red brick, very old fashioned, um, fireplace and then I painted it just to kind of spruce it up a little bit last year and then now we have got a whole new look for the fireplace I'll put up a picture as well to show you my kind of mock-up of how I wanted it to look and I've shown you this before when I've spoken about the fireplace and like the kind of design of it all because we've changed this design two or three times already now this was the final design that we went with and this is what I showed like the fireplace people when I went there and I said look this is what I want it to look like and can we achieve it and then we got to choose the fire got to choose everything else that goes with it so all of the different elements and I'm so so happy with how it's come together Mark absolutely loves it as well we think it's absolutely perfect we've also gone from a gas fire to now an electric fire and the fireplace specialists they actually said that most people are now switching towards more electric fires so this is kind of the more done thing now. So I'm really pleased that we've made the switch and I love it so much. So I'm gonna show you all of the footage from the start of the week and then I'll be back at the end of the video to show you how it looks now. This is the last time that, that you'll see the fireplace like this because tomorrow it's all getting ripped out. Well, it's the start of the fireplace renovation. So I thought I would pop on and give you a little before because it's gonna be changing. I'm so excited. All of this is gonna be gone. Um, so I thought I would start this video just to kind of show you the process and how it all goes over the next kind of two or three days. So this is what the fireplace currently looks like. I'm so excited. The TV is going to be going inside here. We're getting like a big electric fire. We've currently got gas, so we're going to be switching from gas to electric. So that's going to be a different change for us. And yeah, we've got, we've got a new beam going up as well. We've got lots of big changes happening over the next few days, so I'm really, really excited to see how it's going to change. Also a little bit nervous because obviously I haven't seen how it's going to look properly, just in my mind. So I don't really know how it's going to turn out, so it's going to be a surprise for you and me both. Let's hope it's a good one. day one and I thought I'd show you what everything is looking like now I haven't really been able to vlog because obviously they've been in here all day so this is what it is currently looking like so they've taken the beam down the original one that was up there and they filled the wall because you would have seen earlier that there was like a massive hole in the wall up here so they need to skim all of this tomorrow but um this is what it's looking like at the minute look at this like all the soot first time I've seen this smell doesn't it yeah, Mark's so home now from work Obviously, that would have been like an open fire. Yeah, you can see, can't so you? Yeah, it was. The charcoal on the chimney, that would have gone up there. God, it's mad, isn't it? It's pretty mad. But what's that there? There's an earth in there. I think it was a lot harder for them to get out, actually. He did say it was yeah. a lot harder than he thought it would be. So we, it took oh, right, okay, so we got to judge the shelf. Yes. So we've got to know the position we want that TV to be in, essentially. What Mark is going to do now is he's gonna do the electrics for the TV, because obviously the TV's going in here, so we need a plug that's gonna go behind the telly. And then also we need to mark the wall where we want the shelf to come out. Basically, we're having a shelf um, where the, on top of the fire, basically, because the TV's gonna be sat on this wall here, and then the fire needs to come out a bit, because obviously it's quite deep. And then we're having like, uh, what is it, limestone on top? Yeah. I think that's, the TV is the same height, basically. Is that what you want? Yeah, like, um, and the floor, I thought this would look worse actually, but it doesn't. They put like a brick there, haven't they? It's a bit like archaeology, isn't it? Like looking like in the past, what well, they did. I yeah, know, this is cool. all built, yeah. Because you can it's see crazy, that's the... isn't it? So that, right, you they can see block... right up now. Yeah, so will they block easy. that up? Because you can feel that, you can see the um, draft there, can't you? Wow, yeah, that's like soot from the 1950s. It's cool, isn't it? I like that. Yeah. So Want to keep it? Yeah. <laughs> that's the little, that's the like lintel there with the bricks. Yeah. It's like, there's wood there. It's mm. wood. How oh, funny. It's crazy, isn't it? That is cool. Uh, on this bit here, there was like writing on it. On right. here, like top <laughs> six or something like that. Oh, it was yeah. written on it, yeah. 
That's cool, that. Um, but yeah, this is what it's currently looking like. We're going to have to have the wall replastered. Well, he's going to do that. Is he going to try and feather this in, is he? Uh, no, they're going to remove the wallpaper. So we're going to have to re-wallpaper it. But my dad said he would do that on Saturday. When are they... If you want. What are they skimming, though? They're skimming, like... He said he would just take it off to here. Yeah, and then skim all so that. So, like, and sk um, This got to be skimmed, isn't And it? skim all of this, and then we'll just need to re wallpaper over it. They think it's going to do this in three days. Well, he did say this morning, he was like, yeah, two days full, and then probably half a day, and then to, at the end of the day, he was like, yeah, three days full, and maybe I'll come on Monday just to do any finishing touches. Yeah. So it's definitely taken longer than he thought. Yes. But this is what it looks like at the end of day one. And we'll be back tomorrow with some more updates. Tomorrow, the beam's going to go on the wall, I think. Well, a lot of it's going to be done tomorrow, isn't it? Which is crazy yeah, to me. To I just, yeah, I know. It's a lot, so isn't think, it? Because yeah. they've got to skim it all as well. Yeah. So I, can't, I just can't see how it's going to be done. They'll build all of that out tomorrow, yeah, won't they? Yeah. yeah, but you've got to give them that height of you, so yeah. you want it the same height as this. TV, yeah. But yeah, he, no, he wants that. the height of the, the little shelf, yeah. yeah. We can have that a bit lower, though, the, the shelf. Yeah, that doesn't need to be as high as what that is. I would no. like a bit of a gap, I think, because especially we're having like the limestone, you want to be yeah, able to see that it. nicely. Yeah, so you, you want it a bit lower than that. A bit lower, yeah. Just a bit. You want it like. Probably the height of this drawer, maybe. Is that, is that the minimum? Like <laughs> is that minimal? I would just say, yeah, I ask him, I would be it. Ask him what the height of the fire will be. Yeah, okay. And then go from that, and how much of a gap. He'll be here at 8 o'clock. Will you see him tomorrow? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll well, see him in the yeah, morning, yeah. won't you? We'll just go from there. So that is what it looks like today. And we'll be back tomorrow. Right, so here's an update so far today. They've put the hearth in. And then this is going to be like the shelf underneath, uh, on top of the fire. So the TV will go in there. This is like a limestone. I really love the colour actually. I think it looks really, really nice. Wow, I love it. And then the fire is here. It's huge. That. So this is what it's looking like at the end of day two. So big changes today. This is what the fire looks like. When I saw it earlier, I was like, oh my God, is it too big? But now it's in there, it's not. It's because like the whole body of it is obviously big, um, but they've just like covered it all around there now. And then we've also got like the limestone on the bottom here. And then we've got the limestone top here as well, which is really, really nice actually. So yeah, loving it. Tomorrow they're going to come back, so tomorrow's day three, and I think they're going to like skim all of the walls and stuff, and then obviously it needs to all dry before they put the beam on, but that is what it's looking like. We've got like our remote for the fire. This, this looks smart, doesn't it? Really smart. This is way smarter than the other one we had before. So this is what it looks like, so it's an Onyx. Gasco Onyx Fire. I'm really excited. I think he said he would, he would plug it in. He said we could turn it on tonight if we wanted. Can you turn the light on? No, no. <laughs> Not plug it, is it? Oh, right, yeah. Um, and then we've got all of the like little bits and bobs here. So, yeah. This is the exact one that we've got. So, we've got the uh, Onyx Avanti Electric LED Electric Fire Range with thermostatic remote control. That is cool, isn't it? Yeah, really cool. Wow. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, we don't need to, do we? Save it for like the big day. Yes. But it's gonna take longer. It's, it already feels transformed, doesn't it? It already feels like so much like smarter. I feel like we need like a straight sofa though. A straight sofa, really? Yeah, not a cool. Yeah, that's true. Do you remember we had a little run here, don't we, before? We moved it, yeah, because what was going on with that? We had a different fire then, didn't we? Oh, we had the chair there. We had a bit of sofa there, weren't we, and all that. Mm, that sticks out too much, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, that. I feel like you just want it straight. I think there. we need like a nice straight sofa <laughs> along here, and then we need like a nice snuggle chair yeah. as well. Um, but yeah, loving I'm, it so I'm, far. I'm loving it. I think it looks amazing. It looks so good. Obviously, all the walls need to be replastered. It needs to have like new uh, lining paper put on there. And then we need to like repaint it all and stuff. So we were going to put this video out literally like when they leave. But there's no point because we still need to finish it all. And I'd rather get this video out when everything is done. So you can see it from start to finish like fully. So yeah, by the end of this video, it's going to be fully complete, which I'm very excited about. It looks so smart. And considering, because it's like we, well, you were quite against getting a gas fire, uh, getting an electric fire, weren't you? Yeah, just because I prefer the look of the gas. Like the flames yeah. Fair, don't they, but... 
but I feel like this is going to be good. And the, the guy from the fireplace shop, he said that most people are going to electric fires now. Did you say that? Yeah, because gas is like running out. Like, yeah. They're not going to be using gas. And they're going to be, these are like, and he also said, didn't he say, what was the, the word that he said that they he, they also do now? Well, you know what it's like? Um, it's like, um, it's like, a, gel, it's like yeah. a picture. It's like not real. Oh, hologram. Oh, hologram, that hologram, was it. Yeah. So he said that he's been to a few shows now and they do like holographic fires, which is so... I just never expected We're that. Like That's quite cool. proofing the house, aren't we? Yes. Because we could have put a gas one in there. Yeah. But like, gas is... GG, kind of come out here. Gas, so. Let me take it from this angle because I'm not showing it from this angle. Wow. I was really worried about how the shelf was going to look. I was thinking, oh, is this going to look strange? Because obviously it's coming out and it's not like flush back like where the TV is going to be. But... I actually really like it now. It's not actually phasing me at all. I think it's perfect. And right. also they have bought um, the wall out slightly as well where the TV is. So they've boarded that up and they've brought it out about that much, I would say. Yeah, there we go. Update for day two. Okay, so we are on day two. No, we are on day three now of the fireplace. And I thought I would just show you what they've done today. Basically, they've just skimmed the wall. Um, so this is how it's looking now. We obviously need to wait for this to dry. Then we need to decorate it. And once it's all decorated, they're going to come back next week, I think on Tuesday or something, to put the beam up. So the beam has arrived already. It is in a box over there. Um, but I haven't even looked at it yet. So hopefully it's all nice. I don't even know what it looks like. So yeah, that is an update for day three. Not too much done today, but it's looking really, really good. I'm so pleased with it. We actually put the TV on here last night just to have a little look to see how it would uh, like look. And it is amazing. It just fits in there so perfectly. We've just popped it on the stand. We don't need to put it on the wall because it's already got a stand and it looks great. So yeah, once this is decorated, I'll come back and then it's going to be nearly finished then. So I'm really, really pleased about that. Okay, so now we're back to present day. The fireplace has literally just been finished today. I've done some shopping of my own home and grabbed some bits to put on the fireplace. Now the actual beam is slightly shallower than the one we had before. So I can't put all of the items that we had on there before on there now because it's slightly too shallow but i wanted to show you what i've used to style it up right now i'm really pleased with how it looks so far i've ordered a few bits online so i'm waiting for those to arrive when they do arrive i'll show you how they look but it looks so good the beam is in everything has been painted obviously you probably would have seen before this footage where all everything needed to be like re wallpapered redecorated and it's all done now so it looks so good so i'm gonna stop teasing you now and I'm gonna turn you around and show you what the fireplace looks like now. Okay, so this is what the fireplace looks like now. And I'm so, so pleased with it. You might remember, obviously, before we had the TV over in this corner, we still need to sort this corner out. And obviously, we're going to be getting shutters here in the summer, so that's gonna change. We need to think about what we're gonna put in this area. But for now, look at this fire. It is so, so lovely. We've got a beautiful oak beam which matches our floor so perfectly. The colouring is just so, so good. What an amazing colour match. So first of all, we've got this amazing beam which is just gorgeous. It's a gorgeous oak beam. Like I said, it matches our floor so, so well. Um, if I come a little bit closer, you can kind of see how it looks. It's so lovely and it's got that like rustic raw edge on there as well i literally love it so much it's so perfect for us the room feels so much bigger now that we've got the tv out of this corner and the tv as you can see it fits perfectly in here the fire beneath it so the fire details i'll leave those all below in the description box i think i've mentioned already what fire we've got and it's the newest one that's available it's so nice we have obviously painted the walls and everything. It's still in the same colour, which was Strong White by Farrah and Ball. We've obviously got the limestone as well, which is just down here. And then the limestone across here, which is so beautiful. I just think the limestone is just such a gorgeous natural touch. I love the colour of it. I'm so glad that we didn't choose marble. I feel like this just goes so, so perfectly in the space. So that is what the limestone looks like. So beautiful. We've obviously got the TV in here. Oh, I just adore it so much. And um, we haven't put the TV on the wall because we don't need to. So this is our Sky Glass TV. And with this TV, you literally plug it in. Mark's put some plugs behind the TV so it's all plugged in. And then it's just on the stand there, which I think is just gorgeous. And then down here is, of course, the fire, which is so good. We still need to finish this little bit down here 
because they had to cut that obviously to put that in there but ignore that with the fire you get this remote so it's got all the snazzy um controls for all of the different lighting options there's so many different lighting options but i'll show you what we've got it on now i come back a little bit so you can kind of see it a bit better so i'm going to turn it on now and then it's on this, this red flame, which is so good. What I love about this is that we don't have to have the heat of the fire on. We could just have this light on if it's warm in here. And I just think it's so beautiful. Obviously, I haven't put the heat on now because we don't need it, but I adore it. And then um, let me just change some other colours so you can have a little look because it's quite snazzy. Look at that. You can change it to green, blue. It's so cool. Not only that, you can change like so many other elements. So you can change like the lights on the logs. Can you see those changing? You can change the, that light there. There's so many different lights. I mean, it's light now, isn't it, at the minute? But um, you can change that light down the bottom there. There's so many different lights you can change. And Halloween, I'm going to be loving life because I'm going to do it like purple and green. It's going to look so cool. Um, but that is what I've got it on now. So we just set it on like the um, kind of like red flame. But look at that. That is just amazing. I literally can't believe it. It looks so realistic. I mean, I know it's an electric fire, but I feel like that looks so realistic, doesn't it? I think it's been such an amazing transformation. We've managed to kind of keep the old with the beam and adding the new modern touch with the fire. So I feel like we've got the really lovely balance here. And now it's just kind of styling everything else around the room. Of course, we need to get new sofas and stuff in the future, but this is such a huge vocal point of the room. I just, I feel like this has just made such a difference to the space. What do you think? Let me know what you're thinking right now, because I feel like this is such a big, it's very different to probably a lot of fireplaces but i feel like it works really well in our home and we are just so so pleased with it i think it looks so amazing then i've got on the top obviously i've got those paintings up there which are from um a charity shop i've got this jug that's from a charity shop as well so many amazing charity shop finds i think it works really well and then you would have seen i bought this a few weeks ago actually from tk maxx and I think it works really well up there. It's quite hard to style actually, harder than I thought it would be. I do need to get a clock. I've got some um, different candlestick holders come in, so I'm waiting for those to arrive. And I do need to get a clock up there really, but I, I really like it. I think it looks fabulous. So that is our fireplace transformation, guys. I literally can't believe that the fire is done now. It feels so strange when I come into this room because we feel like we're in like a new house again. It's so strange but I'm really, really pleased with the transformation. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and kind of seeing the process of it all. We've still got a few more things to do in this room and the glass block wall will be going probably not until um, the end of the summer, I would imagine, but it's all like, I've got the ball rolling with it. So as soon as I know a little bit more, I'll be able to talk you through what we're going for. We've got a surveyor coming out very soon for that. So I will talk you through that once I know a bit more, but. That is the glass block wall that I'm talking about. If you are new to my channel, it's going. We've got plans for it and it's going to be amazing. So I'm really, really excited. Also got the shutters happening very soon as well. Hopefully May, June time. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Also, if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell to make sure you're notified every time that I upload. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.